Goose goes to some peaceless and I feel so fine Just to know that you are bright My life is Trevor's Botox lips and Joe Rose, that's how Brendan Just go, so come on, join in Homeless pants, Trevor's Botox lips and Joe Rose Everything that's wonderful is sure to walk your way When you just go and exchange Welcome back to Tim Mesa Shop. Thanks for tuning in. Wow. Um, we have a new setup. If you're interested in hearing more about that, check into our other podcast, Raccoon Tweeties, uh, where we do a quick breakdown of that. A detailed examination into the brand new setup that we have here at RT. is different. Yes. Uh, yeah. So definitely check that out. I'm so confused right now. So uh, no, I switch back. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna keep pointing at the cameras that you should look oh, at. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. So okay. this one now. <laughs> this one what? <laughs> okay. But uh, this December 17th, I'm headlining Chatterbox, Gerardo. Um, December 28th, I'm at the Ontario Improv. All so right. So that alone tells you how good at comedy we are. I'm better than Cooney. Yes, Gerardo is better than me. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, but that's not why you're here. You're here to watch Tim as a shop. Yes. So play the chin clip. Start the timer now. Nice. All righty. Well, the first clip we have here today is not pulled up yet because I'm redacted. The first clip we have pulled up today is Clint's Not Very Smart, uh, posted by Minimum Sky 2305. Let's see what this is all about, Daddy. Ooh. You don't know a lot about certain, <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> what do you mean a lot of things? Well, basic thing. Uh, when did World War II end? I don't know a history like that. Okay. <laughs> what, you know, wait, did, do you know what cities in Japan were decimated by nuclear bombs? You should know this. Why? Hiroshima? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> you should know it. You this. should know it, but the context is, yeah. like, it is a little weird to say that when Chin yeah. is Asian. He's a Korean poppy, dude. Yeah, I mean, everybody should know that anyways, but I can't, I think that's what she meant. Yeah. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Or the, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> How would Shab mess it up? The doubt benefit. I'm going to give her the doubt benefit. I'm going to give her the doubt of the benefit. Yeah, the benefit of the... I almost said the it cloud. Right <laughs> the benefit of the cloud. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Oh, I'm Korean, dog. Oh, my God. Why do you have to make it about race? <laughs> 75. And I was going to say, was was gonna say 75. Brian, what was, it, what was Korean War? 1952. I could have sworn it was in the 40s, no? No. <laughs> Way to go, Chin. <laughs> Chin I so this you, proves our Chin, point. Chin, I need you to... Because uh, even the Korean shit, you attention. got wrong. 19 Chin, do you know who in World 52. War II, what, what, who was on what side? <laughs> <laughs> the handwork is so great, and then yeah. he's got Kratom, or not Kratom, or uh, Chew. He's yeah. got rogue nicotine in there. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Get some lozenges in you, daddy. Yeah, lozenges. Can't World open it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is he doing that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I, mean, I, I remember remembering this a long time ago, but I just lost it. The reason it. that you have to... You might, you, here's the thing. You might just be interested in it. No, but, but listen, um, it's just important, I think, to be a little bit aware of the world around you. And I, I think that's, that's to everyone. Of course, you got the Diet Coke right next to him, daddy. Yeah, he's ready, dude. And a rain. You have to have a rain in there. You know, when you're always ready to have a good time, guess what you're going to have? A good time, okay? <laughs> You guys, energy, sweet, sweet nectar of Diet Coke, and some chew to put in your, or the pouches or whatever. I mean, there's just no way you're going home unhappy. Two shop. Two shop. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> and I understand, Chin, because it, 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 it can get It's not life. cool. You can't no, make no, a song about no, it. No, we can get not shaming you. We're not bashing you for I being hate stupid. That <laughs> because, because there's a lot of shame to around that. It's like, oh, I don't know this. Oh, 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 it's just No, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, 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 no, yeah. we would never. It's just information. No, it's just That's stupid. Like, How many states US do you think states? you could know? If I gave you a blank map. It would be, it would be tough for me. I think name three countries in Europe. In Europe? Yeah. No big deal. I just want to say. England? George? England, yeah. Um, You've been to some of these places. Australia? So oh that's, not God, that's not Europe. 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 Oh. But again, see? See how stupid he looks? <laughs> Wait, so do you guys remember everything from grade school? Pause it. No. no. Is this a conspiracy to make Shab look less dumb? <coughs> I think uh, Chin is, is a plant. Chin is a plant <laughs> yeah. on his own show. Yeah. Chin was like, all right, I'll, let, I'll, I'll do it. They're like, who can we mean? Who can we make seem dumb? And they're yeah. like, 
how about George? And like, no, everyone thinks he's dumb already. Yeah. And they're like, how about the intern? No, because we've already said enough things about women. Yeah. But Chin, you know, people think Chin's smart. Chin walked yeah. into the office and they were like, listen, Chin, we're going to ask you some questions. You can't know the answer to any of them, <laughs> dude. He's like, so pretend I'm like shop. And they're like, hey, yeah. Be cool, Chin. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want you to do. <laughs> I yeah. think they In continue to study. Yeah. Education is... Yeah, you you like to pause right before the end of the clip. Yeah, it's my redacted thing that I do. <laughs> my bad. I don't. I mean, so yeah, it is kind of crazy. They doesn't know what the cities were bombed, but I don't know specific the year. I think World War Two. What is it? Forty five. Forty five. I think was yeah. the end of World War Two. Yeah. Can, can we? Was that clip really loud, or is it just my headphones? Can we turn it down a little bit? I'm oh, gonna, uh, here. A little bit, deedy. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, the clip was very loud. Oh, okay. It was very loud. How bad it. History fucked my life. Dude. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, I, here's a good point. <laughs> all right. The next clip is posted by PP stains in a front <laughs> and it's called uh Bapa takes on Nganu <laughs> being gifted a supercar. PP stains in a front. <laughs> Let's see. They said on the broadcast during the, the fight for Nganu and a uh, fury that the Saudi prince gifted Nganu a handmade $4 million sports car. I don't know if this is legit. Uh, 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 Panagi, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah but yeah. that's in. That's insane. If that's true. Here's what's insane. I've sat in those. I don't fit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yes. How? How? How is this not playing into the bit? This has to be on purpose. <laughs> this is Andy Kaufman type shit. Yeah. I can't fit in that. I love that. <laughs> I love that, dude. Man, it is like it is not only his first takeaway; it's his only takeaway. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. That's your takeaway. It is literally his takeaway every time. Wild, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Let's see. He's gonna, it's going to look like made. a micro machine. Here's the thing: there, there's not a chance I can. I've, I've tried to sit in one before. So I don't know how Francis Dude, is going to do it. Sit. Uh, oh, that's your takeaway <laughs> from this dope ass car? Jeez, I can't believe you fit in that thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's the takeaway, huh? <laughs> any of size, like any of size. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how they pull up the graphic too on the thing, yeah. just like they did on the other one. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> chef's kiss, dude. Yeah, that was an excellent was awesome. chin, dude. Uh, what else do we got here, dude? This one's posted by uh, Successful Egg Three Four Five. It's called Dear Truck Community. Brendan must be stopped. Uh, imposter alert. What do you think is going to be uh, the imposter? Uh, that he doesn't know something about trucks. But real quick, though, the way that he dresses, I know we talk about it a lot. Yeah. It seems as if he just saw a kid on the street and he was like, oh, I like the way that kid dresses. I'm going to dress like that for a little bit. Yeah. Like every time he changes, it looks he saw like a 20-year-old on the street wearing something, mustache, and he was like, okay, I like that. <laughs> That's me now. Yeah. The, like, this is just not how an adult dresses. But this, Depending on it. how much it costs, dude, with my new mustache, I'm down to fucking st style up thick boy, dude. Oh. Wait, yeah, dude. Yeah, well, get on it. We were just on it on the Raccoon Tweeties, and there were some sales. Maybe some golden hour jackets. Dude, if you had a golden hour jacket, that'd be crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'd be gay. <laughs> Let's see this. Truck and the guy, oh. so it was in Phoenix, so I sent somebody to inspect it for me. Didn't know they were a moron. I flew all the way out to Phoenix, Arizona to pick up a gem, a cherry of a generation two, 2004 Ford Lightning. Check this bad boy out. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> Not a mark on it. Uh, they see all, all stock. Uh, Billy Grill. You put an aftermarket intake on it. The so basically, I think that the they're inferring that he was calling himself an idiot because he said he sent an idiot to Phoenix to pick it up, and he thinks he's in Phoenix here. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Thank you for explaining <coughs> it to me. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's make sure that that's the case really Holy quick. Diablo. Girl truck, and the guy, oh. so it was in Phoenix, so I sent somebody to inspect it for me. Didn't uh, know they were a moron. The okay. Guy. Didn't know they were a moron. Yeah. Okay. So apparently he's the moron here. Interesting. Interesting. What's going on? Is that CT flaring up or he <laughs> forgot or or it's a painted narrative, you know. It could be just a painted yeah. narrative from Chang's or his or himself. Yeah. You never know. Let's see. Aftermarket intake on it, the pulley Diablo Sport pulley for electro horsepower. 
But we got plans for this. I don't care about any of that. I care about the low mileage. There's no wear and tear on the ride. Um, what are you not going to do again? <laughs> I'm never going to buy a car without me going through it. Mm. Oh, what if what if car guys watch this the way we watch Shab clips? They watch Toontown the way like we're just laughing at Shab saying crazy <laughs> shit, but they're like, oh man, that's totally wrong. That, there's no such thing as a Diablo, whatever. <laughs> Why is everything with trucks Diablo, Raptor, uh, Demon? Yeah. It's almost like Callan named all this shit. Yeah, check out the new uh, Kia Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it, it sounds like. Uh, all right, this next one's posted by Cyberman996. It's called Chris D'Elia, You're poor if you don't have an iPhone. Oh, new territory. Yeah, let's see. Put your phone away. Were you recording? Uh -oh. What? Uh -oh. Well, what are you doing? Uh -oh. Let me see it. I just want to see if it looks good. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. No, be quiet, shorts. You gotta delete it. The whole thing. How do you delete it? You, have, you don't even have a fucking iPhone. Can you delete it? Yeah. Okay. The, the beginning's fine. They were clapping hard. You can post that. Do you have a deleted folder, though? No. Yeah, he does, dude. Come on, bro. I just got this phone. You just got the phone, dude. What a liar, bro. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. How does he do it? Who, who else is poor and has a fucking <laughs> Samsung or whatever the fuck this thing is? One Plus. What is it? One Plus. A One Plus? I never even heard of that phone. It's not very good. It's not very good. <laughs> you gotta have him delete it, dude. Who's got a One Plus? Dude, nobody has a fucking One Plus! <laughs> man this is a clip that he posted from his tiktok <laughs> yeah i think so yeah yeah man, dude yeah this is crowd work on on kratom <laughs> yeah the crowd work clip that these are the crowd work clip that uh, they warn you about mm -hmm. you know when people complain about crowd work oh dude we caught this guy dude he had a, he was recording me so i talked to him for two minutes because his phone was poor i fucking gave it to him why is he Standing like that isn't it? that's actually kind of impressive. That's that he what can I was stand gonna say. There that long, yeah. That I'm impressed by. I was gonna say, dude, shout out to Chris D'Elia for squatting, dude. He's an old, he's not an old man, but yeah. he's in his 40s and he can do all that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's athletic, yeah. So I don't think Shab could do that, although Shab can bench press whatever 22 reps of 400 or whatever it is. To all you hawks out there that can do a squat with heels on the ground, dude. My, I tip my hat to you, dude. Yeah, if you can do that in Jordans, dude. <laughs> yeah, dog, dog. If they when I, dude, when I get back into Hollywood, dude, I'm gonna squat, dude, <laughs> in Jordans, dude. If All I right. catch a guy on a phone, dude, I'm gonna talk about what kind of phone it is, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him. Let's see. It, it's so weird to be like this right now, right? It feels weird. It's okay. I don't feel anything. Um, I'm a sociopath. So it's also kind of nice. It's nice, right? No, he, he feels bad. I think you probably didn't know you, you shouldn't do that, right? No. There's so many signs that say that, but... No, it's okay. I don't want him to be thrown out. It's okay. It's, it's totally okay. He's a nice guy. And you're not going to post it. No. I already it. Okay, cool. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks. He, he'll delete. He won't. I just... Because I'm working new shit. <laughs> Dude, you have a... He literally has a hoodie on that says asshole. You can't trust comedians anymore either. Like, everyone could be a plant at this point. Mulaney, who I love, and I love the special, has an audience plant in his special. Mm. You know, and that's Mulaney, you know. Yeah. You'd think you could trust someone like that. You can't. Yeah. Let's be honest. They're not new in town, dude. <laughs> yeah. Terrible pun. There was, no, there was nobody who was new in town. Yeah. No, one, no homeless guy said that. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> it is what it is, dude. <laughs> Let's see the rest of this. I mean, at least, you know, can't say I didn't warn you. But I'm not a TV, like I can see, you know? You guys just like. That's the yeah, end, man. Yeah. I just, this is good <laughs> because he posts this and let's say we get bigger and we're making clips of our stand-up uh, that a lot Girl of people are watching. And the guy we'll know that uh, 
we shouldn't do shit like that. So thank you, thank him, thank him for his service. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't know why the fucking Reddit's starting to just play clips in the middle of you talking right now. I'm sorry that I'm sorry, Daddy. That's happening. Oh shit, we got a we got a haphazard alert. Uh oh, one yeah. of our guys yeah. never met him. <laughs> Great guy. Haphazard has a post saying it was his team's fault. New lightning narrative, dude. Uh oh. Let's see what that means. What's up, bro? <laughs> you, you you fucking bought a dumb car or what? Yeah, man. What a, what yeah, a it's a lemon seed day. A lot of work, right? We, right we do so a, you do bought, a real wrench into, so into you, things. Hmm. Into the content. They have a whole different computer in it, a whole different mods, and no, no, no Ford dealership gonna touch nah, that. Nah, 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 nah. So okay. I gotta go to special. So you're fucked. No, I'm not fucked. Okay. No, oh, daddy, you get it figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, gonna be running. So you get it, new. huge headache. They really talk daddy all the time, dude. I know that's probably why we do. It, it rubs off. It's fun to do. Who did it first? They did. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Something. You get it new, and then you. Put nonsense on it? No, 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 no. He no, got it no. with nonsense in no, it. No, oh, you bought <laughs> it with nonsense. 20, it. 20 year old truck, From right? Nonsense. Ford form. Lightning. Shout out to Paul Walker. 40, uh, 20 year old truck. And the guy, oh. so it was in Phoenix. So I sent somebody to inspect it for me. Didn't know they were a moron. They inspected it. It's all good. No mods. I show up my son. I'm like, this thing's modded the fuck out. So your kid's in the car. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did this is from Ford? <laughs> yeah. Ford did this? I was like, Ford did this? A hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> has it, has but it's it, one of those like female ones where he goes, <laughs> 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 and it's just. Has the exhibit autograph on the front? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. So we'll get it figured out, though. All right. Fine. So you, uh, you just, so you're just buying. You, you I guess know, I don't stuff. understand. Like, I mean, I'm not a truck guy. Never been a truck guy. Mm -hmm. But if the truck is all modded out, all this, I'm assuming that means that a lot of stuff has been added to it. They're saying pimp my ride type stuff. They would sell it to you for less, or like, how is he? Wouldn't it be more expensive? If it was modded out. I'm not a truck yeah, guy, dude. When it comes to trucks, we're a couple of ducks, dude. Yeah. That's it. I have no idea. I know he's wrong. I just know yeah. just from because he's Bapa. What I'm assuming is, oh, <clears throat> I think somebody explained it on the Discord. They called this redacted, but then they gave us an explanation. I think the computer's from Australia, so it's not American. And oh. Ford's an American car company. Right. <clears throat> but I don't even care, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a, yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, you can, you get into the weeds with the there's so many lie narratives that you know you can only keep track with so many of them. I'm kind of like you know at first I was lit about a new show that Bapa had. I'm kind of upset now, dude. Because you think it's boring or why? No, because I want to see stand up, dude. I oh. want him to do stand up. Yeah, I, I we used to think that we needed more shows and yeah. him doing it. I don't think we maybe we did suggest Pimp My Ride, but it's not enough like Pimp My Ride. It's really just him buying trucks and then saying lies. Yeah. That's not as interesting as like the stand up. We're here about Blackfish. Mm -hmm. um, you know, who, which audience members are attractive men? Magic Johnson has AIDS. Magic John. Oh, Magic Johnson. Dude, <laughs> yeah. That, that was a good one. Yeah. I wouldn't stand next and take my picture with me. Because what if a mosquito <laughs> drank a Bud Light? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I mean, you know, be careful what you ask Jay for, dude. You know, that is such a good thing to remember, dude. Yeah. I like that. Be careful what you ask Jay for. The Gerardo Classic. <laughs> Let's see. Three times a week. Brendan buys a lemon, or what's yeah, the what? Yeah, what's it? No, that was an accident, man. <laughs> All right, but so, hold on. So, so, what was the lesson you learned? <laughs> you have to learn Great a lesson face. here. So, what was the lesson you learned? <laughs> what are you take, not going to do again? I'm never going to buy a car without me going through it. Okay. I, I'm not taking people's word for so it. Now you're gonna but now, part of the project yourself. is figuring this thing out. Sure, people I like that wreck shit. No, which I, I wasn't aware of. Yeah, sure. Anything car related. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know people like to see failures. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, people like to see failures. Yeah. 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 Failures. Yeah. So, uh, uh, oh, people like to see failures. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the beast of an What's editor up, by yeah. half. Yeah. That was a little mean at the end half. <laughs> Thought you were a friendly Canadian. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I think there's a couple more. I'll I'll probably just breeze through them, but there's a lot of failure stuff on Chings. It sounded like you said failures. Mm, failures. Know, failures, like screeners yeah. you get for movies. Yeah, That's you know when you it. buy a truck and they put a failure on it and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. no, dude. Yeah. When they fucking put a failure in one of my um, toy, um, Tokyo's or whatever, dude, I'm like all about, <laughs> you know, those dynamos in there, dude. They put Hooked it up to the demon. 
All right, well, Trapper. that was redacted. Let's, uh, you don't know anything about Trax. <laughs> <laughs> the blower's off failure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This one's <laughs> posted. <blower>. By- <laughs> Isn't that a gun? <laughs> the blower? No, that's a supercharger. Beam. Oh, okay. What's a supercharger? <laughs> it's uh, something that makes your car, gives your car turbo. Turbo. Do you just, it, every other word is a word I don't know. Yeah. Fair enough. It's exhaust. Just kidding. Oh, okay. Uh, they they got to something I sort of know. <laughs> let's see here. The exhaust so this- comes out of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's posted by Dino Velvet 8 millimeter. It's called Shab's favorite type of music. Let's see what this is about, dude. Back to long story short, I've been really into country. Like I've always been to country, but country's heavy right now. And I think I I, I give that credit to uh, maybe it's like this Fort Worth dream or something like yeah, that. No, yeah, no, it's yeah. space, man. Cause yeah. look what you built here. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's space. What music? What music? Or what what yeah. country music guy are you liking? Or what's your? Um, I mean, really all of it. I just put on Spotify, and it's just you. It, it, you when you heart things, and it gets like on the algorithm. Anybody in particular that you're liking? Um, <laughs> I mean, of course, Morgan Wallen, who's huge right now. What's your favorite song of his? You know, oh song man, like? um, I can't even name you the song, brother. Yeah, all, the, all his stuff mm. is good. Mm. My boy Jelly Roll's crushing it. I think, yeah. I, you know, obviously he's a buddy, so I, I gravitate towards him. <laughs> grab um, tape. I mean, all of it, man. I, I don't know what back to long. <laughs> I yeah. grab tape towards him. Yeah, he he definitely botched it. The guy <laughs> is doing a hilarious Chang's interview of Shaw, where it's you're just asking him questions that anybody could answer probably. Yeah. But then I, I liked at the end he was like, you know, I'm not going to ask him what his favorite Jelly Roll song is because <laughs> that would be too far. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, sad, dude. I, I don't like seeing my boy shop down, dude. But then, to be fair, I like Morgan Wallen. And off the top of my head, I've, if you were to ask me, like, what's my favorite Morgan Wallen song, I'd have to just sing you the bars. Mm-hmm. I don't know the name of it either. Like I always said, we all have shop inside of us, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, this one's posted by Thick Boy with three Cs. It's called Hashtag Bars. Let's see what this is about. Ain't going to work in the morning. We calling off, mm. calling off. This is more than a late night fling. Ooh. Ooh. This could be a real life oh, yeah. thing. We go wherever you like. Uh. Keep going till we get it right. Turn it into more than a late night. I met you out in Nashville. Oh, shit. Last night was mad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. Yeah. I know you out here. You doing your thing. I hope that you remember me. Uh oh, dude. We might have what to take our fuck? girls to Thick Town, dude. Yeah. Uh oh, double date in Thickville. <laughs> yeah, dude. Play this vibe. It would be hilarious to Mac on your chick to chin. <laughs> but listen, I'll do it, Daddy. I that was great. That was, oh, that was great. I'll put that on again. Yeah, dude. Well, to, I I liked it. Bars, dude. Bars. But all the songs kind of sound the same, though, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? I, when I like the sound of it. Oh, okay. They're so dumb. Except for those donut rap songs that we were listening mm, to. That was terrible. Yeah. But they so they're funny. They're kind of like almost good, but they're like comical. Yeah, I don't know if they feel that way too. But you know, it, yeah. to each their own. Be <laughs> right? be careful what you Fair. ask Jay for. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more of that, uh, I want more of that. Dude. <laughs> Put uh, it up. All right, so this one's another minimum sky two three zero five. It's called dope episodes like Toontown usually take three years. What the fuck? I Let's need see. an Advil. <laughs> it's good. Got a headache. <laughs> I got a problem with the lightning. Everybody's on break. It's driving me nuts. If they're doing that, the problem is when you decide wrong. to take a passion into content or I guess work is there's time. You, then then it, you got to create content. So then you're on a time schedule. Instead, when people mod their cars, there's no there's no <laughs> countdown. There's the <laughs> he just. He's like, no more show, no more of this fucking comedy. It's just like, I'm a mod car, dude. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm just a truck. I'm a simple truck guy. I've always been a truck guy. I, I mod them. I walk women to them. I love trucks. Damn, dude. I, I, I noticed the, the flaw in our ways. We always ask him for new shows. Mm-hmm. I want to see Content Town, dude, where he just talks about making content. We fucked up. I will admit to it. Mm-hmm. We should have been like no stand up is what we want to see. We we're like more shows he listened to us cuz he's a guy he reads the comments. He's a he, hawk, yeah. He's a hawk. He moves in hawk ways. And he was like they asked for more shit. I give him two down. Now he's probably looking at us like look at these two ducks. Yeah. I gave them what they want and now they're like complaining. And that's really something that you yourself maybe you're a chef, maybe you're a hawk, maybe you're a duck, maybe you're one of the three, all the three. Who knows? But you got to ask yourself that. Yeah. You know, what do you want? 
maybe he was saw us and was like, how does he even fit in that chair? You know? <laughs> I was I ask myself that every day. Yeah. How do I fit in that chair? That's my takeaway. <laughs> Let's see. So it could be a year, two years. A There's year. no rush. It could be a year. The anxiety I have <laughs> to create content through this lightning and TRX is insane for you guys. It keeps me up at night. I got problems. I got problems. <laughs> but uh, yo, drop dope, you know, Toontown episode <laughs> in November and then you take off to March until you come up with something. What? So it's, a, it's, it's it's some of this time crunch. when For content, when you guys see something, like that first episode of Toontown took months. All the all that stuff takes months. So you see it in 12 minutes. So it's mm -hmm. like the next episode, everything that most people do in three, maybe three years, and then you're yeah. months, mm -hmm. months, and you're waiting on this company or this part or this tune or it's just like, <laughs> and then, you know, it just takes a, like the car business is different than anything else, like especially when you're working with, you know, tuning and stuff like that. It just, they just don't move fast. Most times, again, people True. take a few years to get the stuff done. You try to condense it down a month, <laughs> a two year. months, three months. To yeah. do one episode. That's insane. I mean, a year to do one episode is crazy. Maybe it means like making a car. Yeah. But a month is so funny because I, I used to live with, I've lived in Hollywood for a while, so I had roommates who do like TV production. The idea of them, you ask them what they're doing and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm working a month on this show for Brendan Shaw. And they're like, oh, yeah? What are you guys doing? He's like, oh, we're shooting one episode. <laughs> In a month, you're gonna be on location for a month to do one. How long is the episode? Twelve minutes. <laughs> what? He that's part of his problem, and this is something that Mark talked about. He really has too many people on payroll, and too much. Like there's not there is not the need for twelve people, but there's only two of us. You know. Yeah. And we're yeah we're nowhere, nowhere near as big a production, but. I want you to know I disagree with you, but keep going. Yeah. You oh, okay? Well, no, you go ahead. <laughs> no, I mean he's going through a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right, right. Okay. Dude, I'm listening. Content is king. You're right. Okay. Right? Okay. He puts out episodes every fucking week. True. Right. Right. How many episodes? Uh, I don't even know. Three. Yeah, I'm not a numbers guy. He's writing in his diary. Okay. He's fucking T Fat Can. He's shop showing, dude. Right. Where are the? Is there a food truck diary every week? Oh, is that your takeaway? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. No, you're right. I'm feeling I'm feeling this yet. You're right. I can't talk. No, when I see this clip, I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I feel bad for shop, dude. Right. He's out here trying to put out Toontown. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, I, <laughs> Toontown's awesome. You're right. Sometimes you got to work on one 12 minute show for a month or yeah. a, year, a year. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you're right. You're acting like your friend would be like, uh, yeah, I'm doing one show for one month. They'd be like, but I'm working with shop, dude. That's what they would say. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, fuck off. Be cool, Cooney. Yeah, but the, you, how many? How often? How many? T uh, or how much are you working with uh, shop during sixty-five days? <laughs> <laughs> are you getting paid seven times a week? <laughs> are you getting paid? No. Are there any he days said, off? He said he was going to pay us, but he wasn't. But he didn't. You know, he likes donuts. You know, he likes donuts. But <laughs> yikes. Yeah, no, you're tripping, dude. I see this, and I see a king suffering right now, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go to the next one. This one's posted by oh, yeah. Haphazard. Yeah, great title, dude. Do you want to read the title? Go for it. I married Mexican, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Kids, what is popping? What's cracking? How are you guys? Getting ready for Thanksgiving? What's everybody doing? Yeah? I can't hear you. That's cool. Turkey, dry turkey is usually <laughs> the norm. A little dry turkey. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got a. I don't know the context. So why is he expect people to say something? He's saying there's a fourth wall between him and the audience. He can't hear us responding, oh, even wow. though we were saying a lot. Yeah, I mean, you just watch the show, Danny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a big stuffing guy. A little stuffing, a little cranberry sauce, some gravy. It's uh, one of the downsides being married to Mexican. They like to uh, kind of take over this holiday. One of the downsides. And uh, I, had to, I had to put my foot down. I had to put my foot down and say, we got to whiten up around here. Mm -hmm. it was <laughs> we got to whiten up around here. <laughs> 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 Anybody else who would be like offensive, maybe. <laughs> this is just so funny. He just is out of control. He 
he just uh he said he saw comedians talk for a while and he was like, All right, I'm gonna act like that. Yeah. He doesn't have the brain power to yeah. come up with real jokes or examples of things. So he just says stuff like that. No, the vo- the vocals are all good. What he needs to do is slap the shit out of that chair, dude. You know? Bro, oh, right. Put throw we some need shots to stuff. Fucking wipe shit up around here, dude. <laughs> That's what he needs to do. Yeah, dude. You need to get in there, man. Yeah. Shot. You need to get on the show first because you can give him some producer advice. Oh, dude. The most producer advice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I reached my magnum opus of shop clips, dude. I'm, I'm able to throw shit at you now. You're, you're killing it. Dude, you're firing on all cinders, as we say. <laughs> all right. So this one's posted by Hubo Tactical. It's called You're Following the Blueprint. It looks like a clip from JRE. Let's see. Uh-oh. The thing I learned from you, it's like, now with my platform, not as big as yours, but it's not bad. <laughs> I give back. Yeah, right. You're boosting, Chappelle you're, Lacey. You're following David the Luke, blueprint. L- little brows. Yeah. You know yeah. this white rapper who creates all the music for all my promos, and he's so fucking talented, man. Mm-hmm. That's it's awesome. Nuts. I'm gonna cry. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's that's good. You're helping. Mm. Mm. What was the title on that one? Uh, he said the title is sorry. You're following the br- blueprint. Uh, yeah, Rogan gave him the game. He took the ball and he ran with it. He's a football player. Yeah. He was in the NFL. He knows what he's doing. Well, he had a cappuccino. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Be cool. He had a coffee at the Bills uh, practice stadium. Yeah. You know, and he took that coffee. He drank it. He threw up un- uncontrollably. Oh, Remember? dude. Best coffee of your life. Yeah. He throws up all the time because mm-hmm. he drinks coffee like all day long. No, yeah. He drinks instead of water. He drinks coffee. It's part of the blueprint, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, all right. This one's posted by Baby Q. It's called Just Jumping on the Friars for a quick eight second shift. This one's pretty fast. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So, what do you think that uh, he's doing that as a reaction clip to? Oh, no. Remember, he's talking about how Chin is dumb. Oh, that's from the dumb clip? Yeah. Dang. He's like, we're not saying, uh, uh, but you know. That could be a sound drop for us when I Ooh. don't know something or you get something wrong. It's like, don't really, dude. It's a bunch of those. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about his uh, impersonation of uh, Shin here? You know, it's not the greatest impersonation I've seen of, <laughs> of someone else. I, I, there's room for improvement there. But he's on the right track, right? It was dumb that Chin didn't know Hir- uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Look at this, dude. We got another Hap. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Haphazard. He's, a, he's the man. Busy. Oh, yeah. He keeps very, you busy. Very dude. busy. Uh, nice of Bapa to pitch in where he thinks the ticket price is $160. Let's see. 160 k grand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Be now, George, if you said, Brian, can you fly me to Chicago? I would do that. Oh, well... For yeah, Thanksgiving? I already bought uh-huh. my ticket. Re- reimburse. No, for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving also? That's what Brian's offering right that's now. That's so sweet. That is sweet. I don't think you've looked at ticket price, so that's very sweet of <laughs> you. Uh, no, if you really want to go, I mean. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll contribute. See. Round trip from 162. Yeah. No, but no, that's on Spirit. No, no I'll, well, fly. Like, I'll fly. I'll fly. It's, 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 it's perfectly fine. Spirit, you, you would have pay, to leave. Spirit, you got to pay for water. Tomorrow, right? No, we don't have to leave tomorrow. Sunday, uh, Thanksgiving's on Thursday, so he could leave Wednesday. No, for real. Yeah, if you, I, I don't care about the price. Oh, sorry. If you really want, I, I will fly. Yeah, price is an issue for Brian. Hey, do this off earwaves, yeah, daddy. Yeah. This is like uh, employer-employee talk. Yeah. When you get to leave for for uh, Thanksgiving, and that, that part of the, shouldn't be part of the show. Uh, one way, you, should, you can crystallia it up a little bit, dude. Mm-hmm. You could say, I'll buy you a ticket, cry. Cry right now. Do it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Good. Oh, really? You're not going to cry? I'm going to buy you tickets, dude. You know? Yeah. Did he... D- I forget. This is one of the clips he did. No, I'm just saying that's probably something Chris Lee would do. That was a good... Did you just create a whole Chris Lee bit? Yeah. Damn, dude. I'll buy you a ticket. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I like it. <laughs> Let's see what the rest of this is. No, we'll just... Um, I'll cover your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, let me know if you want to. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Cry. No, I'll pay for half of it, Georgie. You want to go half? Oh, now you want to come in. Well, I'll go half. I don't want, you can't. You Fire can't. in the kid will send you. How's that sound? That's yeah, there you go. That's half Yeah. It's half 
<laughs> they don't get paid. <laughs> half goes to Brian, half goes to Brian. Uh, Off Brindy. air, they take him and they're like, hey, you know that was part of the show, right? It's like a joke thing. <laughs> We're not actually going to. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot. We're not going to be able to, but you have to go now because we said we were going to pay for you, so you have to buy it. And you know, like, I mean, you probably already know this, but I haven't paid you for your regular salary. Yeah. So you knew that I wasn't going to pay for yeah. a plane ticket, right? Yeah, and you didn't cry, so. Right, and I also need some Adderall <laughs> soon. Can you hurry up on <laughs> <Yeah>. that? <laughs> Find it. Sweet, guys. Of course. I'll tell you what's we don't do enough. We don't do enough for our... For Chin and Georgie, really, or you, mm. So give him some of your money. I'm going. To. Give him some of your salary. Take off. <laughs> sucks. No, no, you're feeling so generous. Take twenty percent of yours. 20? Give it to them. Like a lot. You're, <laughs> you're the guy here. You know what? What do you got, Chin? So we're se- so are we sending Georgie to uh, Chicago? You want to go, Georgie? Book it now. If we want, yeah. I'm if you want for real, just yeah, just yeah, tell we'll your. Yeah, we'll cover Georgie. Yeah. We don't want you here crying at Penn you Express. Have to fly to Chicago. Wait, we're talking about basically. Interesting omission of P.F. Chang's there instead of P.F. Chang's. Panda Express made an appearance, dude. Mm. A new challenger approaches. Mm. And Brian is drinking Magic Mind right now. So mm-hmm. will, the, will the clip get even better? Or as I like to call it, broccoli beef. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Thanksgiving, man. That means, yeah. It's got to work Wednesday. Yeah. So we'll say Wednesday night. Do we? Do we? Oh, are we? Are we? Are we? Is Fighter and the Kid closed Wednesday? All right, I so mean, the cheapest is six eighty. Anyway. I'm gonna be here anyway. I'm be here anyway Wednesday. I can come up. Check Sky Scanner. The cheapest is six eighty. <laughs> What's the Greyhound bus? No. Look at my face. What happened to the prices there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw one for one eighty. Chin. What no, happened? That was okay. It, it automatically selected December, so I, I punched in. Tomorrow or Wednesday till Sunday. This is literally an HR oh. conversation. This is an HR conversation, like a, an employer talking to their HR person about when someone can take off and yeah. all that, and they're having it on air while Brian drinks a magic mind. It's really a skill, dude. I mean, look how close we are to the end of the clip. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, how I can do that, <laughs> yeah, dude? <laughs> I can't control. I'm chomping at the dig. <laughs> To, to, to run for you, dude. Well, let's see the rest of the clip if there's anything yeah. important here, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Late, just a little late notice. Uh, I- okay, late notice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> it is an HR conversation. Uh, what's next? Like, which holidays are we gonna have off next year? What do you think, Jim? Should we do Martin <laughs> Luther King? We didn't do Martin Luther King Day this year. Should we do that next year? <laughs> We're taking a uh, New Year's off this year, me and you. We are. Yeah. No no episode on New Year's. I want to fly to Rancho, though. Can you pay for that? Well, I mean, uh, if you really want to go, I can maybe pay half of it. Oh, yeah. I'll pay the other half. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, let's pull up Skyscanner. Okay, Skyscanner. <laughs> yeah. Since you're so rich all of a sudden, you can do half. Yeah. What if you got to give you 20% of mine? Okay, Mr. Whole Foods. <laughs> all right. Can you hand me a magic mine? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Got okay, you. Once again. Thank you. <laughs> um, I do want to get a chin though, dude. I think it'd be cool if we had a chin in here. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how long it takes us to have stupid conversations like that. Yeah, like that we just shit on yeah. with chi- with our chin. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, how about in the comments? Let's start some applications, baby. Yeah. Do you want to be a chin? Yeah. Do you have what it takes? Can you sing? Mm-hmm. Huh? Can you cook? Yeah. We want a list of songs you could sing. Yeah. Places that we're gonna have to buy you tickets for, and also you have to leave in bad uh, audio and visual. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You can't cut out stuff that doesn't work. Uh, examples of things you wouldn't cut out of our episodes, That's right? Good. Yeah. You know? Uh, and yeah, just leave a leave an employment application below, daddy. Yeah. Right? No promises. No promises? No promises. <laughs> oh, yeah, no promises. Yeah, from yeah. Us. No, this is a bit on the show. Um, let's see here. This one's called Ziet Ziet. What does that mean? I have no idea. German? Maybe. It's posted by Supercuts. Oh, Ziet Ziet. That's something that Shab is saying, I bet. Oh, best brains be. Let's see. Involved with Russians? Dude, you're the closest thing I know to a Russian, probably you or you. No, he's way more Russian Russian looking than I am. I look Iranian. I'm Irish and Italian. That's Western Europe. You don't look Iranian, bro. Dude, you don't look American out of anybody. You look bad, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Brian Brian looks the most fucking Russian. You look nice. You look Eastern European. No, I mean, Petey little eyes. You 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 like soup? Yet. I mean, no. See? Yet. See? Yeah, dude. No. (laughs) Best brains, daddy. His brain takes in audio differently, girlfriend. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, Callan clearly said "yet," yeah, no. and then 
uh, Shab goes, Ziet, Ziet, <laughs> put a Z, put a Z yeah. in there. <laughs> How many times do you get hit before you have to, you start switching over letters and yeah. sounds? I mm-hmm. wonder. Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe at least 1K grand, daddy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. This one's called the summary of Bapa. It's posted by haphazard. It might be a uh, content we've already seen, but we'll check it out really quick. All right. But so, hold on. So, so what was the lesson you learned? <laughs> you have to learn a lesson here. So what was the lesson you learned? <laughs> what are you take- not going to do again? <laughs> Those eyebrows. <laughs> like Godfather thing. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Who's Vito Corleone in your Godfather with Bopiverse Godfather? I mean, oh, Scoob. Scoob? Yeah. But he died. No, Scoob is definitely Michael, dude. Michael? So who is he taking over for? Uh, Rogan. Rogan, oh, obviously. Yeah, dude. Yeah. No, you Dalia come to is me sunny, dude. On the day of my daughter's gadushining. Isn't that where he said that one? Yeah. Dalia is definitely sunny, dude. Oh, he's hot headed, right? Yeah. He, got, he already got gadushed. Oh, you're recording me, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those messages get saved? Yeah. All right. Let's see this one. This one's oh, called. Oh. What? Look at what Ooh, it is. Stand look up, at daddy. What it is. I feel like we might have already seen this. Already, thing. dude. But I saw him doing stand up. Like, We're going to watch it. I don't care oh, if you've already seen we've it. We've already seen it. Well, maybe. Okay. Only a thousand can do it. Let's see. Uh, this one's posted by Parrot Shab. It's called Green Room Diaries. How did that go? <laughs> see what this is about. There is a serial killer on the loose in NorCal. <laughs> he's in Stockton. He's made his way down to San Jose. <laughs> so if you leave the theater tonight, head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. It's terrifying. I'm scared. I'm fucking scared, dude. And Jeffrey Dahmer's so hot right now, right? After that Netflix doc, I was like, ooh. And I'm into serial killers. So I was like, oh, this is hot. Let me look into this. What's he doing? Eating their brains? Oh, was he, was he putting a fucking werewolf mask on? What's he doing? As you research it, this dude's just driving by fucking shooting people. <laughs> You're not a serial killer. That's a gangbanger with a good shot. Yeah. These 2022 woke serial killers, bro, what are you doing? Who's your publicist? Uh, when does he want people to laugh? Yeah, he doesn't really give much pause for even, I mean, they're not, it's not funny, but oh, he doesn't allow cool. people to laugh. Yeah, it's hilarious. You're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. dude. He just got to give them a break yeah. so they can laugh at it. Mm-hmm. You think you can just drive by and shoot people and 10 years from now you're going to Netflix doc, bitch? Not happening, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Callan voice. Boner alert. <laughs> oh, fuck. I fucked it up, David. Oh, well. Yeah, dude. That was a good dad. That was a hard daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Even the font added a couple Ooh, Y's. Ooh, he does that at the beginning when he's like, I like serial killers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, pull over, eat their dicks, do something, dude. Uh, there we go, like yeah. Kobayashi. <laughs> Paint your face like a fucking clown, shoot him, leave a calling card, do something, dude. <laughs> Weak, bro. I leave here tonight, I get shot. <laughs> He eats my dick. I'm, I'm the first one. He's Kobayashi. <laughs> God damn. He's so predictable. Well, that is good, though. It's good that he's predictable because it's like going to the zoo. Where you expect the lion to, like, roar and run around, but a lot of times they don't. They just sit and do nothing. <laughs> Shab, you're going to hear him talk about eating digs. Like Kobayashi. And, and doing that voice with Diddy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Have we seen that one before? I don't know. I, I don't, feel like we have. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Uh, it's okay. We already know another haphazard. Dude, he's heavy on the grills this week, dude. Good. Hell yeah. Let's Four see. Four-star Michelin chef. And, and I wish I could admit I was <clears throat> stupid. <clears throat> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> hmm. He wishes he could? Yeah. Right? I wonder why. Why can't he? And, and I wish I could admit I was <clears throat> stupid. I what? wish I what? could. I yeah. wish I could admit I was stupid. Yeah, this is like a haiku. Yeah. <laughs> Shab haiku. Yeah, you uh, see, he's deep sometimes. You know. I wish I could admit I'm stupid. <laughs> very, very well done. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. That was Shab slam poetry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one's posted by Joe D Mofo. Joe D Mofo. Bapa explains to Elon Musk how to run his drug business. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't get to that point in the pod. Oh, yeah. he, he's still talking about the fight with Zuckerberg. He says he's you still gotta drop down it. to do it. No, no, no. Uh, hey, Elon, work on the trucks. The, the the production of those trucks is not going great. It, work on that, dude. Work on that and uh, sardine pizza. Just quit <laughs> fucking around with Mark. I didn't get to that point. Okay. 
Well, Bop is a truck expert. Mm -hmm. Elon's stuff is more tech, you know? Um, And he's saying that the, I guess the Tesla trucks aren't good. Bapa would be who I'd go to for that. Yeah. I mean, he mods trucks all the time. (laughs) And he even, somebody messed up his truck earlier. He sent some moron out there to look at it in Arizona. And then it came back and it had an Australian um, Toyota driver in it. Yeah. The most Australian. The most. So Australian, dude. It was just weird because you'd think seven days ahead they would know. Yeah. <laughs> you could have, get out the demon out of the Challenger you'd blower. Think it'd be better because they have time travel. Yeah. I mean, we are. The Rock and Joe already discussed this. Yeah. You already know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I bet you Elon, though, if he's like sleeping at 3 a.m. and Papa's giving him truck advice, one of his homies is coming in and being like, yo, you got to see this. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. They're like, check it out, dude. Like, uh, I know you were struggling with the truck thing, but guess what, daddy? Shab mm-hmm. is talking directly to you, and, and Elon yeah. probably just lights up. He's like, "Holy oh, shit! Only a thousand, no trucks." You know? Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to this one. It's called Coach HP speaks on Brendan's comedy talent. Posted by Brendan is a hack. That's an aggressive name, dude. I said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> let's see. I, w- I was telling this to Dougie Fresh uh, earlier today. You will not find a funnier guy <laughs> on the spot, charismatic with sarcasm like you. That doesn't exist, oh, I'll take bro. It, bro. You're phony as like in. I'm gonna hire you as my therapist. It, listen, man. no, no, no. Listen, in uh, when you do the Fight Club Companion, which the last one was a hit. Yeah. How you kept ragging on a brand for um, telling Bradley, Bradley, Martin, Bradley yeah, yeah. Hey, 260, 260. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Nobody does I'll that like take you, it, bro. <laughs> so I, but that value you have to catch that because if not, what happens? It's hate, 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 hate. Whatever. That's shocking. I love it. Yeah. If somebody was standing in there with like a crazy o meter, it would just explode. If yeah. Nobody does it like you. Yeah. Here's the funniest mm-hmm. on the spot with sarcasm. Also, sarcasm kind of sucks. Mm. It's funny sometimes, but you know, yeah. if that's your calling card, yeah. probably not that fun to be around. Yeah. Sarcasm is not like kiwis. You can't eat it all the time. Exactly. You know? yeah. Well put. Well said. Yeah. I mean, only a thousand. Nobody can do it like you, bro. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one thing, uh, producer note, it's very annoying that his uh, podcast is not in mono. It's in uh, stereo. So, oh, you know what I'm saying? Not the best brains. Not the best brains. The view count shows it. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> this one's posted <laughs> by Haphazard. It's called Carnivore Diet Includes Twizzlers, right? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Who says it? Brian or Brendan? I mean, Brendan. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. They say. Yeah. What do you, uh, what's your, uh, do you stick to a diet? Are you still carnivore? <laughs> still carnivore, yep. <laughs> and what do you have though? Do you, what do, you, do you have any kind of vegetables or fruit? Mm, just depends. Uh, sometimes I'll have mix in some corn, some spinach, and which you, isn't very carnivore. But if it's there, yeah, and I need a little more calories, I'll do it. Yeah, but I've been carnivore for weeks now. And then what do you do uh, supplementation wise? Do you take supplements? A lot of cock. A lot of cock. Oh my you- god, dude! Great. Good. You're right. I need to start throwing cock jokes into my kiwi bit, dude. Yeah, dude. What else do you eat? You know, and then you just think about it and then drop it. Yeah. Eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're out way ahead of me, dude. Four D chess. Four dig chess. You, you drink digs. your coffee. You gotta have your coffee. I have to. Now, do you uh do you take so no fruit, no nothing? Yeah, you know, you're a little sweetie. You're a little sweetie. No, because my teeth. At night? Ever since I saw the dentist, I haven't touched Damn. sweets. I don't touch mm-hmm. them. That's why I've lost so much weight. Mm. Don't touch sweets anymore. Mm. Yeah. What are you wearing right The only now? thing I can eat is Twizzlers because they don't stick to my teeth. So you eat your Twizzlers. You'll see night. some Twizzlers in yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Not at <laughs> night, but in the car. But you got some Twizzies. Oh, I got Twizzlers it. like the most thing that, of course that it sticks is. to your teeth? Course, no, no, it's not because it's covered in a wax. It's, uh, it's red vines are the sticky. Twizzlers don't stick. Twizzies. Right. I would know. <laughs> As they say. Damn. I got I to gotta know if that's true. The dentist being, because I'm assuming, it sounds like you're saying the dentist is saying, you know what? I know you like can. He's basically alluding to the dentist saying, you know, you can have Twizzlers. I doubt a dentist would tell you that, but it yeah. could be wrong. All I do see. is lie to you. Uh, they have the staying power that provides bacteria with ample opportunity to consume the sugar producing acids. I don't know. Worst candy for your teeth. Twiz- Twizzlers, fudge, other chewy treats might hit your sweet spot and they stay there for some time. Since these candies stick to your teeth. Okay, well, you know, they could have put this graphic. Basically, we're a chef right now. Yeah. I mean, this graphic would be perfect for that. Yeah. You know, we don't matter, but you yeah. know, this, this is a little bit of a dish there. Yeah, do your own research, dude. Just, yeah, this just shows you right right away that Bob is not telling the truth. Yeah, but it's I all would good. know. Yeah, clearly, you wouldn't. Yeah, Jin's like, I just Googled it. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> all right, let's see what this next one's all about. This one's uh, Brendan has been a gearhead since he was a kid. 
posted by Eddie Pool Eight Millimeter. Let's see. I don't know what the eight, there's a lot of different names with eight millimeter at the he end. He got the a good height, but he didn't get the Ferrari level height. So for me, it was like it was kind of a tip to hat to him and my brother. Like the the little guy did it. We did. Me, meaning we did it. We did. And he, and here we go. We did it. I'm bringing you to the, the Ferrari dealer. I heard this thing exactly how I told you I was going to do it when I was a kid. We had always build models. And that's how I learned so much about cars, building. My dad would always take us maybe once a month, and we'd go to, uh, it's called uh, Copar uh, Hobby Models. And we'd go there. There's a Dunkin' Donuts next to it. My dad let me get a chocolate-filled donut, and we'd once a month pick out a car. And that, it would take us an entire month to build that thing. But I learned all the engine, the chassis. I learned all that. I'd always paint my cars green. My dad would be like, what color? Green. He's like, we have green. Green, green. So green is my thing. And I was like, and I told him when I'm older, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a Ferrari to be green. So I didn't tell him anything about it or that Ferrari exactly how I built it as a kid. And for me, like that <laughs> signifies, uh, like let my dad know, like I made it. Cause you're always trying to be like, dad, 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 I made it. And it's hard to impress my dad. It's hard. He- <laughs> <laughs> I'm redacted. I'll admit it. I've said yeah. this many times. I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, he's just saying he's spitting facts, B. What do you right. mean? I just don't. I mean, I just didn't follow at all. Yeah, you don't need to follow. He just goes. Right. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Follow and run out of gas? <laughs> Come on. You're man. right. You're yeah. I, would, I could never keep up. I got it. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I mean, you're. Yeah. As I said earlier in the show, you're doing 40 chess. Mm-hmm. But you're. You're. Uh. You're just way ahead of me, dog. I'm staring at you like. Ca-ca! Yeah. Hawk. Mm-hmm. He was like a hawk. Yep. I'm just over here, like in my duck training wheels. Uh, speaking of duck training wheels, you want to read that title right there, dude? I'm married a Mexican, y'all. <laughs> and then in parentheses, again. Uh, hat passes. We're getting spoiled this week, dude. Yeah, he put a lot of work in. I, I like that. Let's see. Not mad at that, as Sean would say. Oh, fuck. I forgot. This one's redacted. Hmm. Let's go right here. Married a Mexican, y'all, again. On this. But, um, How are they still friends? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We don't argue enough. You know what I mean? Well, we are. Maybe we yeah. should start yelling. Maybe. So, all right. So, look. Thanksgiving. What are you guys doing? The white thing, mm-hmm. dry ass turkey, stuffing, yeah. cranberry mm-hmm. sauce. Where you got me? I have to put my foot down because yeah. my girl tries to make it Mexican. Uh, like, like uh, okay, the, yeah. the soups and fucking it's just regular meals, tamales, like tamales. And yeah, tamales. Like, where's the- I've never had a good tamale. They're all basic as shit. <laughs> Dog, I used to love Brendan Chop, dude. Mm-hmm. The tamale thing is too far for you, bro. Why would he put that on earwaves? I don't know. I don't. Re- I don't know tamales, but yeah, it seems crazy to just write them all off. Like yeah, that. dude. Are they good? Have you? N- you never had a tamale? Um, I I think I've had. Like, it's like the thing that has the thing you unwrap, right? Yes. Corn I've nuts. never really had like a real tamale. I've only had like grocery store tamales, and they're fine. Yeah. But I, I assume that a homemade tamale or like a restaurant tamale is a lot better. Like, listen, dude, I'm speaking for Latinos out there, dude. I'm speaking right. for the gringo chubby poppies out there, right. dude. Right. And you know what? That's fucked up. Maybe, you know, given Brendan's, I don't want to get too crazy because he's obviously a great comedian. He'll roast the shit out of me, dude. Yeah. He'll fucking, you know what I mean? He'll nail right. with you a dartboard and throw some fucking, you know, he'll protest my comedy. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. He'll, get, he'll keep you busy. But sure. given his redacted past, he's probably eating the corn husk, dude. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> the thing you're supposed to take off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a danger for me, I think, for sure. Saying he hates tamales, you fucking corn husk eating ass motherfucker, dude. <laughs> it is pretty dumb. Also, the white thing is like just the white thing. Why go back to that? Yeah. Plenty of people, I mean, all of America celebrates Thanksgiving. Also, southern white people. Mm-hmm. That turkey's not dry, daddy. Yeah. And you're getting mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, green bean casserole, if you're lucky, Ooh. cornbread, you know, a lot of good stuff. You name it. Bacon, Brussels sprouts. Mm hmm. Honey butter. Yeah. Okay. Chili round. Oh, cook some more, daddy. I wish there was a white way of saying all the things I just said. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Apple pie. Apple pie. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. <laughs> Lord, let's see the Ice rest. cream. <laughs> that, the views expressed by Brendan are not the views expressed. I don't even know. Honestly, a tamale is that thing that comes in the little wrap in thing. the corn. Yeah, yeah. Air thing. I don't there's know. Good ones. Yeah, they're, 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 they're all right. <laughs> I've had a ton of them. They're all basic. You're not into tamales. It's okay. Yeah. Nah, nobody is. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? And that's not true because there's a literal tamale season. Yeah. I remember that last year when the staff was talking about tamale season. I was like, oh, and then I meant to get one. I didn't. Bro, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna burn all my thick boy merch. <laughs> this is the. This is the the 
the point that's too far for you. I, and before he said that nobody likes tamales, I was going to be like, I like that Brendan's expressing himself, but now he's just fucking, he's playing with my heartstrings here, dude. It's weird. It's a weird turnaround for him too, because he talks about all those foods that he likes. Carne is ah, yeah. all that. Now, no tamales. It may be because he can't say it while sticking his tongue out. <laughs> yeah, it's, not a, it's not a fun word to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that's not true. No People way. go like, this, all oh, fuck yeah, tamales. Uh, they're good, but they're, I'm not like, oh, I can't. You're saying of Mexican food, yeah, the tamales, most basic is the tamales. It's not, I would not say tamales are my go-to at, at a Mexican tamales restaurant. Tamales are no like way. white Whoops, person's slim right? Yeah, but okay. Because well, I was in the middle of What's yeah, your sorry. go-to at no, a Mexican okay. restaurant? I mean, look, I'll tell you. I can't hear it. <laughs> Remember when you were laughing because my mom makes tamale pie? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so i guess i have had that oh yeah that was like early in the podcast we looked up tamale pie on google I don't even, it looked bad yeah it looked terrible it looked bad no. i don't remember what it is that's just dude if you want to be accepted by mexican culture which let's be honest dude shab is dying for that dude you know what i mean like a lot of latinos enjoy brendan Chab, dude you know yeah he's that white boy that talked too much right and you know what we like is white boys that talk too much dude yeah big brown dude mm-hmm. Shh, big brown keep it busy yeah, but he cannot go that far, dude. That's that is like I'll, I wish I could be in his camp and tell him like this is wild for you to say. You think he's naming the waters with Latinos with that? Yeah, dude, it's a painted narrative that nobody likes it for sure. You mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. dude, Latinos go nuts for tamales. People yeah. eat gas station tamales, dude. Mm -hmm. If there's gas station anything, you know that there's a huge guilty. Market for no, <laughs> <laughs> you eat the the husk at the gas station tamales. I eat freaking dude. Trader Joe's tamales. Ralph's tamales. <laughs> One time, Vallarta, never again. <laughs> that was the worst tamale I ever had in my life. Uh, well, let's get off it, dude. I'm, I was very upset right there. Uh, this one's posted by Blockbuster Buffet. It's called, But Is That Knife? Let's see. Middle Eastern women are gorgeous. Some of them, Brian. <laughs> Just like any Good start. culture. Some of the best looking women I've, I've, I saw were. Yeah, I've seen some foul women. ones, too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen some war, I've, I've seen some warlocks. No, I've seen some dimes. Jordan. Oh. Yeah, name a place, dude. There's some like, hotties and like, there's also what some fatties. In the world, are you? I didn't see. Forty years saw. old. <laughs> dude, there's no fat people in the Middle East. I mean, there probably is, but it's just funny to talk. They talk like a college, a guy going to a college party. Yeah. At his age, <laughs> some warlocks are showing up, bro. <laughs> dude, look at these swamp donkeys. <laughs> swamp donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the rest of this here, Dean. I only see beauty, dude. There's also what some fatties. In the world, are you? I didn't see. I only saw. <laughs> she's cringing. Yeah, she's cringing hard at this, and she should. I only see beauty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts, dude? You're gonna say nothing. I mean, <laughs> it's just so weird to be like, yeah, there are fat people there. I mean, though, I just did that, but like the way he's doing it, he's like, oh, it's a weird take to have. Why? Well, obviously, not every woman in a, any race is attractive. But if you confront him on it, he's going to be like, I mean, but we're back at it. Yeah, but it's, yeah, that would be his excuse. Yeah. It's like, why zero in on uh, uh, Middle Eastern women? Yeah, maybe it was the flow of the conversation, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or he's just mad because there's no food that he knows that's Middle Eastern that he can go to. He's like, Brian, you know, I don't have any zingers in this conversation, dude. Yeah. Brian's like, well, you could say falafel, freaking gift -a. Yeah, they to eat bully. A, a bunch of tamales in the Middle East, dude. They're fat as shit. But to bully poppy. <laughs> the What's the word for Americans and inf the infidel poppy? The infidel poppy is a fire ass special mm -hmm. right there, dude. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to see, dude. I wonder if there's a word poppy in Arab. Like what kind of, what kind of, what, how do you say poppy? They probably just put daddy from right to left infidel instead of left daddy. to right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're about to blow up. <laughs> this one's uh, posted by Mono. Mono cry it or something like that. It's called a uh, walk hmm. through the flames, Bapa or Bubba. Walk Maybe through mono Cory art. Okay, mono Cory art. Let's see. I don't know. So it's it's tough because especially with the people you're dealing with, with you know, with these kids with successful dads. I always tell my son, like he's seen my UFC fights and he sees that stuff, and he'll go, oh, I want to be a UFC fighter. I go, Bubba, UFC fighters don't grow up in Calabasas. There's not one. There's a reason for that. Like I I walk through that fire so you don't have to. But I took. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. That wasn't bad. No, I think that's probably accurate yeah. or fairly accurate. Dude, come on, dude. I was expecting more because that guy, the other guy in the clip, he's very good at creating change clips. Mm. He's got a lot of uh, good setups to make Bob look ridiculous. Yeah. 
He that was just a chef. He was a good dad right there, dude. Yeah, I, w- I probably would try and talk my son out of doing MMA. I'd yeah. also, if I were him, talk him out of podcasting and stand-up. And Reddit. Well. And Reddit. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't really understand Reddit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't really know it. Uh, all right, this one's another haphazard, dude. It's called uh, Turkey is Good, Bad, Heard It Both Ways. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> you you like it already? Yeah. Let's see. already have the tree. Halloween, yeah. Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Whites go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my girl goes nuts for that's that that's the LA comic uh, fling on there, dude. Yeah, he did do that kind of punch the the extending of the end of it. He's obsessed with uh, it doesn't help, you know, because we want to find out what race he is. Yeah, and um, it doesn't help that he constantly says white this, white that. Yeah, the argument that he's actually white. <laughs> I think he's Latino or something else. Yeah, and he because he's constantly going like. Oh yeah, that's what whites do, right? You know how us whites do. It's like, are you are you saying you're not white? Yeah. Are you trying to hide something, Brendan? Where's the birth certificate? Yep. Papa. We'll never stop asking, dude. We'll never stop. Yeah. Let's see. Christmas, Latinas, Christmas, and then Thanksgiving. I had to put my my goddamn American foot down and say, we need some turkey mashed potatoes up in this bit. Dude, he just did you know how people do the hat trick at the comedy store? They do all the rooms? Yeah. This bit is on all the podcasts, dude. Yeah. Golden Hour, Shab Show, and now T Fat K. He thought it's so funny to say that his Thanksgiving isn't white enough. He's like, I'm going to do it. You know, I got a great segment. I can't just do it once. Mm-hmm. Three times I'm a numbers guy. Mm-hmm. I'm an American. Put my goddamn American foot down. We got the white turkey. We got the freaking pumpkin pie. Yep. I told my girl, no more tamales because you know what tamales are? Do you know what they are? Eight inches. <laughs> Dog bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bitch, I'm sick of the pozole. Yeah. I'm not eating soup for Thanksgiving. No. We're not communist. Yeah. So we have turkey, he loves stuffing, pozole. cranberry yeah. juice. He fucking sniffs pozole in his nose. A soup. You know, from the Grandma Poppy. He would literally put pozole in his nose. Does that make sense? Why? From would, left field. just. You know, from left field. So, and now he doesn't like it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That sounds like a painted narrative yeah I, it sounds like he's trying to be uh he's trying to create controversy dude mm-hmm. okay so, so he's working again for each dude you shit. think he's fucking podcasting he's marketing right now dude mm. grind set grind set grind set keep okay. it going he wakes up at 423 his enemies aren't up that early right i like that you said 423 because it's earlier than 434 <laughs> yeah he wakes up at 423. Yeah. Watch out, Jocko. <laughs> Some of these people are, I never sleep, you know? And then it's just a random time. I'm like, I'm awake before my enemy. <laughs> I haven't slept in days. Yeah. Why would I sleep when my enemy's out there scheming? Even if my enemy's asleep, he could be dreaming about beating me, mm-hmm. but I'm awake. Yes. Daddy. Good. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Sauce too. I uh, I wouldn't mind having a different kind of fowl this Thanksgiving. Turkey's so lame, dude. Smoke Who duck? decided to make that ugly? Yeah. Fuck. You ever seen a turkey in person? Yeah. They're hideous. How about you already have the tree? Halloween. Turkey in person is hideous. That's just so he said, accurate. I get it. The her both ways because he's like, I don't want them the Mexican food, but turkey sucks. Yeah. Then I okay, that landed. You know, classic Bapa two takes Bapa. Yeah. Um, let's go to the next one. There's only so much you could say. He's saying the same thing on three podcasts, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, this one's posted by Ordinary Warthog 8227. We're back to a long title here, dude. All right. Let's see if I could kill this a one. A classic. <laughs> Eric Griffin is the ideal thick boy, unlike Bapa, who seems aggressively insecure about moobs and manginas while begging, quote, fans to buy an unhealthy lifestyle brand from an ex-professional athlete. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to First Coast Living. We have a great show for you today, but we wanted to start right off with some fun and laughter. You already heard us laughing. <laughs> That's right. We've got comedian Eric Griffin here with us, and he'll be. Why do you have my fat angle? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this the fat just camera? Cheat, Why you got it. the fat camera just on me? It, you just gotta cheat it out. That's all. I'm gonna do that thing you guys do. So yeah, there you go. Uh, right, today on the news, we are on <laughs> so, so Eric, thank you so Sorry, much for joining I, us today. I cut man. you off because I saw myself on the oh, my insecurity God. kick. In. I was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to like, you know. <laughs> well done for a morning show segment, you yeah. know, just call attention to the funny thing. You look fat in the camera. Mm-hmm. Mention it, deity. Yeah. Master of the arts. Only a thousand can do something like that. Yeah. What would Brendan do though? What would Brendan do? 
He'd be like, hey, hey can we cut real quick? It's live. <laughs> can we cut real quick? Hey, uh, I'm because like I don't know if you have like a chin or like a Korean person here yeah. to like edit and whatnot. And there's all live. <laughs> all of this is live. Oh uh, yeah, he's so funny. Uh, we're just you know, <laughs> oh we're live. Oh well, like all right. Well, I have Kraden with me. So I'm buy Happy game. Hippo promo code shop. And they're like what? <laughs> All right, we got another Minimum Sky 2305 clip. It's called Gobble Gobble. There we go. Let's see what this one's all about, dude. Hey, Gobble Gobble. Happy Thanksgiving. dress up for Thanksgiving? Nah, bro. <laughs> no, Nick's special, well, you dude. Got, you got a flannel on. It's Thanksgiving. All right. Thanksgiving. Right, right, we want to like wear it. a pilgrim's hat? Like, what do you dress for Thanksgiving? Like, yeah, nice? but is that a... But he's... Hey, but, hey, But hey. Nick's like... Hey, Nick. Like, it's like a devil I turkey. Know. Nick you know? is um, mm -hmm. honestly oh, okay. any chance he can get, he wants to dress up <laughs> like a fucking cosplay. I'm a cosplay. locker room guy. It's bringing the energy up. Yeah, he's I, a locker I dig room it. Guy. Oh, it's Rudy. Nick is our Rudy. Wow, that. Yeah. <laughs> is... But more talented. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a little bit too close to home for us because we do stuff like that. Mainly, yeah. it's me asking you if you want to wear stuff, and I take full responsibility. I like that there's a guy in the corner that's being paid to sit there like that. <laughs> Let me see. What is, what is he? Yeah, he's, he's like just, he's he did, was gonna rob the studio yeah. and then he got in. It was so entertaining that he sat down. <laughs> just another day at Thick Boy, dude. Next <laughs> uh, to a giant bee. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a giant bee on the wall? I don't know. Oh, because the old uh, King is of it the really Sting. left over from King of the Sting? Probably, dude. That's crazy. All right, so this is another long title posted by Joe Demofo. It's called the uh, FFS. Just imagine him at home in the kitchen with the chombies trying to put a turkey and a duck mumbling. Dunny makes sense. <laughs> Dunny makes sense. Like, turkey and a duck. Let's see. I'm going to San Diego. Going to college. <clears throat> Chin. Yeah, Orange County with my parents. Your parents, and do you guys do a traditional? <laughs> you always ask this every year. I always forget. So it's a, it's a mix CT. of it's a mix of American and Korean. Oh yeah. We're so we'll have about, kimchi, like, turkey. No duck? <laughs> no duck. Turduckins? No. I, dude, I would love a turduckin. Turduckin is turkey, chicken, chicken and, duck, and yeah. duck. I would love inside that. Inside of a What's it inside of the duck? I think the turkey's a big part, then a duck, and then a chicken. Disgusting. Or a, or chicken, then duck. I don't know. Disgusting. It sounds amazing to me. Disgusting. You know what this pot is? What? A duck instead of a studio. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, but I mean, <laughs> Korean, a Korean Thanksgiving sounds awesome. This sounds Netflix. I love <laughs> Korean food. <laughs> if it's a mix of uh, Thanksgiving food and Korean, count me in, daddy. <laughs> All right, Ooh, well, let's. Uh, these are the 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 lowest liked ones of the week, so let's just okay. let's power through. Power through these sure. ones, dude. We're already at an hour ten. Yeah, it's a long one today, Danny. Uh, this one's called Coach HP loves Brendan. I think we already saw this part, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. He tells him how funny he is or whatever. Yeah, let's skip that one. Let's yeah. go to the next one. This one's uh, he can tune it himself haphazard, dude. <laughs> let's see what that is. Right here. It's car stuff together. Everyone's on break, man. I got a problem with the lightning. Everybody's on break. It's driving me nuts. It still runs. It's just like driving a Mini Cooper. It's not uh it's not how it's supposed to be. So I gotta wait till the twenty eighth to get the PCU checked out. Cause I can't do it myself. It seems complicated. It seems weird. I could probably tune it myself. When it comes to that weird stuff, I should leave it to the professionals. Otherwise, you're going to blow that thing Computer up. stuff especially. Yeah, yeah. yeah With yeah, the electrical. tuning and all that stuff. <laughs> Chin's worried yeah. he's literally going to die. I was looking, I was reading <laughs> he's like, especially the computer stuff, okay, Brandon? <laughs> Do not do that in the studio. He sounds like me when I was talking about my grinder not working. You know, I was like, I fucking turned it on. You have to Couldn't delete the out. app and reinstall it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> 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 All right, let's oh, go to man. this one. This is uh, Denver has b -b -b beast of an architect posted by uh, I downvote cake days. I haven't seen that oh, name in a while, dude. There let's we see. go. Oops, wrong. welcome back. Yeah. Everybody, everybody designed here. At Denver, design around Denver. Really? Yep. It I looks just that. like Denver. Yep. Same designer, like architect for Denver did Calgary. It's also <laughs> okay. I assume that's wrong because Bob said it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully it isn't, though. Uh, all right, let's go to this one. Haphazard. I did what I could. The comedy parrot. Uh, what do you think is going to happen, dude? Um, he's copying some famous line, or he's copying something that uh, Montez or Delia said. All right, good guesses. Let's see. Eric, how about the special you directed, number one on Netflix? 
across so it's all because how many of Eric. Countries? I know. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I did what I could. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, but it's, this is Eric. It's number Flash. one in Latvia. Too. I, I did what I could. I did what I could. You, you know, know what I, mean? I, I did. What you I elevated did. it. I did what no, I could. Uh, no, it's yeah. great. Eric, how about this? Well done, all three of them saying it. I like mm-hmm. it. I did what I could do. Couldn't do it better myself. I did what I could. Yeah. On that clip. <laughs> All right. We're on the last clip of the day. There was a lot of funny text posts on uh, Chang's this week, Oh, but uh, I skipped over them. There was yeah. one that said, keep on sugging. It was the tour poster where it says, keep on trugging. You know what uh, I mean? Got it. Got him. Shout out to all the chefs this week. Great talk wireless. <laughs> this one's posted by a hobo tactical. Let's see what <laughs> this is about. It's called uh, Brian definitely spends a lot of time in a dog cage while uh, wife enjoys herself. Hmm. Uh, I, I'll, if I, I'm on Instagram, which I should never be, I'm scrolling through and I'll see some very athletic, beautiful man. Sometimes black, sometimes Latin, All sometimes black. white. All black. She's an equal All opportunity. Black. All black. Okay, All well, black. if she had a business, she would probably hire blacks first because she loves black people. And um, uh, and I uh, I will send her a picture of some uh, beautiful black man sprinting, and I'll just say something like "slut," "ha ha," it's a joke. Yeah. The problem is the algorithm now thinks I'm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just more Brian bullshit. Where yeah. He's like describing men, and he had a wonderful hair, but he couldn't tell. It was like that kind of wavy hair, you know. But it was like all over. Like he was at the beach, but he wasn't at the yeah. beach, you know. And he just like looks in your eyes, and he goes, "I'm El Gato." Oh, oh hello. <laughs> yeah, and if you enjoyed <laughs> that, watch Patreon. We go through his calendar. His catalog of stand up, which is horrendous. Yeah. And we just watched a uh, stav. We watched Dad. It was great. Yeah. And then we also watched the Matt Rife. We did. Uh, we give you our thoughts on Matt Rife special. We did, dude. And yeah, we got a Patreon episodes up there, dude. That was fun. Fucking a lot yeah. of clips this week at Chang's. Yeah. Shout out to the chefs. Good work. Thanks for keeping us busy. Put a lot of time in. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Let us know Bye. what you think of the setup, baby. Yeah.